Okay, continuing on. Uh, so what we what I did here was I, I I think I got cut off here, so I'm just gonna go back a couple of steps. I imported this guy here. I selected the color range because I want this to be black to be consistent with the other drawings. Color range, uh, and you can adjust the tolerance in there if you want to. This is a smart object, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know I'm just gonna leave it a smart object. Actually, what I'm gonna do is. Um, take what I've got here and copy paste it as a separate layer. And I'm going to take that layer and um, let's go back to, let's see if I can image adjustments, um, uh, hue saturation. That's what I'll do. I'll desaturate it and I'll make it dark and black. That's what I want. There it is. Perfect. So there's a little bit of red peeking through there. Um, I'm not going to get too picky about myself on that. I probably do want it to go away. Um, but I, I might be able to adjust that layer and the other one. So what I want to do down here is fill that in as well. So I'm going to take that paint bucket and fill that in. Then I want that number two, which is right here. Now it's disappeared. I again, again, want that to be white. Double click it. Go there. Now it's white. And there's my second sheet. So that second sheet, I looks like my uh, title block is not showing up, right? Because that's a picture. So I'm going to take and move this guy all the way up to above eight because I want him to show up on every single sheet. So there it is. That looks good and I'll go ahead and say make this into my sheet number two so I'm taking these three layers sh I'm shift clicking to get all three of them and then I'm gonna go up to this little menu thing and go new group from layers zero two zero two there we go those are my first two so now I'm gonna do three sheet one there's sheet one sheet two let me zoom in here and see if this is actually right looks like oh that's just because the other sheet was on at the same time two one those look good so now i want to do sheet three uh let's see now what did i do for sheet three over here sheet three i did um uh, i did a section oh this is good section with the with the elevations below so one of the nice things is if you do so i'm going to import this one first so i'm going to go file import uh no sorry place embedded, uh, do this section perspective. One of the nice things about doing the section perspective with a white cut is that it floats on the page and it anchors. So it's kind of both, right? So it's anchored on the page because this is all white, but it also sort of floats. So I'm gonna do the elevations below this. I'm gonna go ahead and place embedded and do my elevations. Elevations, um, maybe I'll do uh, what I think is probably relevant. Uh, it's hard to tell right now. I'm gonna do this one first. And now it's in place, and I should be able to rotate it while it's here. There is the rotate. And when I rotate, I can hold down the shift key, and it'll snap into place. So I want to do that. Uh, and all I want, I think all I want is this one elevation that has the walker on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scale. Well, actually, I'm not going to scale it yet. I'm just going to put that there for now. I'm just going to put And then I'm going to place the other one, the other elevation sheet, which is two. Uh, rotate that around and the other elevation that I want is this one with the the stairs so it looks like if I zoom in here that this is at half the scale of the other one when I originally drew it does that seem right uh, let's see place it eighth quarter that's my guess so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to edit transform scale and it should give me this so it's width of 73 whatever I'm gonna go to 200 and lock it into place and then I'm gonna go to the other one the other elevation one and do the same thing but I'm gonna do it at 100 100 percent so I'm gonna go 100 lock it in so that they're the same hit enter and hit enter again to, to uh, do that and then I'm going to select both of them select both of these so shift click both edit transform scale and now I can free scale them and they should be the same scale I just want to scale them down so that they'll both fit on the sheet maybe even more something like that how are they doing how does that look small enough uh, yeah, let's say that's okay. I'm going to hit enter on that. Oops. Enter. There we go. Okay. 
select one of these. My auto select is off. That's good. So I can move these separately. I want this one right here. And then I want this one right here. So I'm going to maybe put that one maybe about right like that. And this other one, I'm going to connect the ground plane. See what I'm kind of doing down here? I'm, I'm just connecting the ground plane so that they kind of line up. So I'm going to do that. Those are the same scale. It looks like they're nice and close. So now what I want to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and rasterize each of these layers because now I've got them to the right scale. Rasterize. Um, let's see, which one's which now? I forget. Okay, this one is the, the one on the left. So I'm going to get this down, just kind of delete some things out of it. Uh, delete some stuff below, get that rid of that line that's above, the line that's on the left. I don't want to lose the drawing though, just like that. And then go to the other guy and do the same thing. There's, uh, is there a line there? No, just that title block is there. There's a line here that's showing up. Oh, there it is, it's above. There's a line here too, I'm not sure what that is. Might be from the rendering above. I want to get rid of all of this though. We need to get rid of that drawing up above. I want to fix that later. Go back to here. Get rid of that little line. Okay. It looks like it might be. On, is it on this guy? Let's see. I'm going to rasterize him too. Rasterize and delete. That cleans it up really nicely. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, go back, go back. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to fill in that bottom and use my polygonal lasso just kind of like I did with the other elevation. Uh, or section, I should say. A little easier on this one to do. These are nice and uh, planned out. Um, Shift F5 and fill it with black. And there is um, my sheet three. So I just want to take that number three again and move it up in front. Double click the T, get it white, and there's that. All right, there's sheet three. So I'm going to combine these. Uh, whoops, I got to do it here, don't I? There we go. Uh, new group from layers, zero, three. So now it gets a little easier. I'm going to go to four. Four, uh, place embedded. Uh, I'm going to do this guy. And some of these guys, these I, I'm just going to make these full screen. I'm just going to do some good full screen shots. Uh, this one, it looks like I might be able to keep the four black. Yep, that looks good. I might need to adjust the title block a little bit, or maybe um, what I really need to do maybe is adjust this guy. No, maybe I just have to be okay with that not working out. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. Does that just barely make it? Yep. Okay. That's good. You know, I don't want to cut off the text up there, so that's good. So that's um, that's sheet four. Uh, make the group. Oh, four. Sheet. Then I'm going to do five. Place embedded. Um, I'll do this guy. You know, I did three of these. Some of you uh, didn't do three, but that's okay. Uh, but I did, so that's what I'm going to put in here. I'm just going to make that a half sheet like that. Bring that five ahead just in case. Um, I keep going there, don't I? New groups, zero, five. And then six, and then I'm going to start doing some renders with six file place embedded. My Exterior renders. Uh, I like this one. Put that there. I'm going to blow this up so that the, the image itself is full screen. Bring that six in front. That looks fine in black. Do it again. Group from layer zero six. And then I'm going to do a couple of my exterior, or sorry, interior renders. Um, place embedded, 
uh, interior renders that one kind of do this and do that bring that number in front uh, new group 07 and file place embedded interior renders again there's the other one just in case you have the yours combined in a pdf if you have them as jpegs you can obviously just uh, you don't have to go into a pdf but if you have them as a pdf you can still use them uh, and then i'm going to do that so what i want to do with this one though is i kind of want to get that guy back i like this little bit of exterior that's showing so in, you know there's let the information on this side is maybe a little bit redundant the information on this side is unique so you just kind of want to make sure you're always composing these things so that you have, uh, whoop, no, don't don't do that. So that you have uh, clarity. What you're re that's really what you're trying to achieve with all of this is clarity. It's not necessarily about them being beautiful, though. You, you could argue that if it's beautifully presented, part of its beauty is clarity. Um, there, I'm not sure about that one. I'm going to double click that and make that white just in case. Yeah, that's definitely better. Um, and then I'll go ahead and merge those two together. Uh, or, uh, sorry, group them together, zero, 08. And there we go. So for my own sake, what I like to do is reorganize these so it's so that you know it's um, one is on top, just for my own, you know, OCDness, I guess. But anyway, so there we go. So now we've got um, sheet one. And I can go ahead and print sheet one. And uh, you'll what you'll want to do probably is print it as a PDF. That's my guess. You'll go, you'll do landscape, you go into print settings and get the paper to be um, 11 by 17 or tabloid. Uh, so there it is. If it's cropping in any way, you'd want to come down here and you'd want to you know, set that position and size, scale it to 100% or just scale to fit media. In this case, 100% is 11 by 17, so it should be okay. Um, so there we go. There's, there it is. Uh, and you can click print. Uh, and it should give you a place to save that. So I'm going to call that 01. There it is. There's 01. Then I'll go ahead and do 02. File print. Now this should already be set up. I'm just gonna make sure. Uh, yep, it is, print, zero two. Okay, I'll, I'll, I wanna look at that in a second. And, and so on, all the way down to zero three. And do all of them, all the way through eight. And then once I have all of them, what I can do over in, uh, Adobe Acrobat is I can go to create PDF from multiple files, combine files. So I'm going to combine uh, PDF. So I'm going to go to next, and then I'm going to go ahead and add files one, two, and three. If it doesn't take here by default, it's just where you saved them, and open, and then combine. And then that makes them as one PDF. So now I've got them all in one PDF. I can upload that. Once I've got all eight sheets, I can upload that, and I'm done. End of semester, end of walker. Now we can go to the walker for pure enjoyment uh, and not, um, you know, for uh, extreme labor and um, all sorts of things with, with all the stuff we've done with the walker. It's been great. Uh, it's been a great semester. Really been a, a great uh, honor to be able to, to teach all of you this semester. Really enjoyed it. So hopefully this helps. Have a great time. Good luck on Wednesday. Thanks.